I designed a simple frame to hang the door from. It was going to be built from 2 inch angle iron, 6mm thick, to give it some strength. Have strengthening in the upper corners and have a hole in the bottom that would take the secondary air duct. Despite my welding, it turned out quite nicely. I managed to get the front flat and the side square. For the door itself, I wanted an opening for a window and a grill to allow primary air to ventilate. I marked the position for the window and used an angle grinder to plunge cut into the flat parts of the profile. I then used a jigsaw to cut the curved parts, trying to cool it as I went along using WD-40. Second flat side I also used the angle grinder, it was much quicker than the jigsaw. I managed to do the whole cut with one blade, although the blade was pretty blunt by the end. Overall the cut was quite good and only needed small amounts of cleaning up with the flap sander. To cut the door blank to size I used my Evolution crosscut saw with a rage blade in it. These blades are specifically designed for metal and do a great job. To decide on the grill for the primary air, I consulted the batchrocket.eu website where there's tables that tell you how much square millimetres of primary air you need for the size of your heat riser. I worked out I could use six slots that were 10 millimetres wide, spaced on 25 millimetre centres. I marked these out on the door blank and used a centre punch to mark for drilling. I use successively larger drill pieces to drill up to the 10mm thickness and then cut between the drilled holes using the angle grinder to take the slots. The angle grinding took about one minute per slot so it wasn't too bad. Because I'm only using 4mm steel for the door I was worried about it warping in the heat and so decided to weld a frame onto the back of it to strengthen it. This gave me the idea of welding an additional plate to act as an air baffle that would allow the air to be heated and also to wash up over the glass to cool it and to help stop it smoking up. I fashioned a simple door catch and I used an oven dish for the window, held in place with a glass rope and some metal clips. Here you can see the primary air vent and the plate that will allow pre-warming of the air. The secondary air duct comes out through the hole in the bottom of the frame. I bonded some glass rope to make a door seal. I used ordinary door hinges for the door these were held on by holes that I cut a thread into and used M6 screws. Overall I was quite pleased with the design of the door and can't wait to get going with the test burn. Please come back very soon, I hope to post in the next day or two. Thanks for watching, bye bye.